Two girls, one chip. The meltdown. Let's go on an adventure. Okay, so where we left off. Welcome to Capricious Conversations, by the way. Oh, yeah. Welcome. I'm Nia, I'm her sister. If you guys have been keeping up so far with our little storyline saga, we're talking about our Europe trip that we took in 2009. Which is me and my sister, young, stupid teenagers, but we had an adventure of a lifetime. <laughs> um, to recap, we have been through an interesting, hellish time. Italy, Germany, got things got better in Germany, went really great in Poland, and now we've come back to Germany. And we're we're in about Berlin. three weeks into this trip now that's about, about six weeks. So we're about halfway through. And we've come back to Berlin. We're getting ready to stay, not with a friend, someone we've actually never met. We kind of hooked up through couch surfers. Which I'm going to say, if you are planning on a trip and you are short on funds, couch surfing can be a really good option. There is a website called couchsurfing.com. And what it is is just a bunch of people who open their home to travelers. Yes, yeah, they say, hey, hey, if you're in Berlin and you need a place to crash, I've got a couch. And that's literally all yeah, it is. Yeah, or wherever you are. It's all, all over the world. All United over the States world. And all over the world. So, I mean, you have to be a little bit careful. I will give you a disclaimer. Be a little bit careful. We about stayed with a single, single woman. We didn't stay we either, with any yeah. dudes or anything. So. Um, but, you know, find what works for you. It can be a really great option. It's a really nice way to make those connections that we were talking mm -hmm. about and make new friends. So, couchsurfing.com. I'll put a link to that website in the description. Yeah. So, anyway, so we're getting ready to stay. We've just come back off of a really great time in Poland, so we're kind of on this high. However, some of those underlying tensions that started when we began our trip... And I mean, we're starting right, to bubble back up to the surface. When you're on this kind of trip, and like it's 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 mm -hmm. been a really good trip, but it's been a super stressful trip up to this point. And Too we've been yeah. together f like the entire time. You know, we've li literally not had a break from each other. There's never not been a time, time when we've been apart. And actually, it, we didn't for the entire trip, for yeah. the entire six weeks. So, which is fine. But I mean, <clears throat> tensions were building, and things. Things but happened. they were there. There was an undercurrent while we were among friends and and with our our, our uncle and, mm -hmm. and Mark Spencer, and uh, so we in Germany, then Berlin. They went back home, and it was just us again. So we get ready to go to this uh, new friend's place, and um, we're on the bus, and I'm trying to listen for what I think the street sounds like. The, our stop should be. <laughs> I know where it is on the we're map. On the bus. Oh, we were, yeah. Yeah, we were on a bus. Listen. Oh, by the way, chains and buses <laughs> in Germany, awesome. Are like, awesome. Nothing is better. I can't I can't actually vouch for Asia, like Japan and China, but I, I will say Germany has the best trains and buses and in that Europe. schedule is tight. Like yep. if it says it's gonna oh, be there awesome. in two minutes, it is going to be there in two minutes. And boy howdy, it runs every five minutes if you miss the first one. It's oh, man. really great. It was super legit. However, the map of Berlin was awful. The and map not, that we had. The map that we had. Which I'm, I think is specifically to screw with tourists. I'm not going to lie. We got it at the airport and it was <laughs> not super reliable. But I anyway, it did have all the right street names in technically what? all the right places, but the distances, the distances were not. were pretty so, skewed. But so, so we, we meet up with this lady and mm -hmm. our first day was really great and we were like, we're in Germany, we're going to go see the Holocaust not Memorial. Not Germany, we're in we're Berlin, Berlin. Sorry, yeah. I keep, yeah, I keep generalizing. Yeah. We're in Berlin and we want to go see the Holocaust Memorial, we want to mm -hmm. go see the Brandenburger Tour, we want to see the, you know, the... Like the art museums and stuff. Yeah. And, and we, we just want to check Liberty out column and things Berlin. like that. So we look at our map and we're like, well, if we get Tickets on the U-Bahn from here to here, that's a really long distance, and then we could just walk to the Brandenburg Gate. The U-Bahn tickets were fairly cheap, which was awesome. Yeah, they were like <laughs> they were like a euro or something, something like that. Yeah, it was no, really no, cheap. No. But Great. so we decided to get U-Bahn tickets, which is their subway, by the way. Um, U-Bahn mm -hmm. tickets from this, this lady's house to um, right by the zoo. And mm -hmm. so we... Cool and it looked like, from there, that looked like a huge distance on the map, and then it was like a shorter distance, like a pretty short distance to the Brandenburg Gate. We're like, no problem. So we start walking, and it ends up being four miles to the Brandenburg Gate from there. Yeah, and so, so I, <laughs> which we, was a lovely walk. Yeah, we, we had a day. We, um, she worked out of her home, so, so for most of the day we had to be gone. Yeah, she, we got there, and she's like, um, I'm gonna need you guys to leave and not come back until five. And we were like, <laughs> Okay. okay. We wanted to explore anyways, but so yeah, there's a lot we, to see we take Berlin. the U-Bahn, we get off at the stop at the zoo, and we can almost see her house from where we stopped. <laughs> well, that day I don't 
don't think we made that connection super No, hard. we did for the stop because we were like, what? We could we have just like, gone. Oh, that's not very far. But it looked like it was not very far to the Brandenburg Gate and ended up being four miles. Which was fine, actually. Just, we didn't get sunburned this time. We nice did not. It was it was a nice day. So we, we explored a little bit and we had a nice day. The thing about Berlin, though, is we that... We did make a, it to the Brandenburg Gate. We did make it there. And we were like... It, we looked on the map. Because the Holocaust Memorial is at Potsdamer Platz, and we looked at the map, and it looked like almost the same distance from the Brandenburg Gate to Potsdamer Platz as it had been from the zoo to the gate, and we're like, so oh my we gosh, thought it we was cannot, that four miles yeah, we're like, we cannot do we're that just today. Like, we're not gonna do it today. We'll do it later. <clears throat> so we went back, and the the interesting thing about Berlin, though, is that like, it it's got an interesting feeling. <clears throat> just a, the kind of atmosphere and the feeling about the city. In some places, it feels pretty lighthearted, mm -hmm. and in other places, it just feels, like, oppressively guilty. Sad. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, guilty, and you're just like, oh, you don't feel right. And it, it, Especially the closer you get to all of the memorials, the, and the, the Eastern, British memorials, the Russian memorials for all the soldiers lost in World War II. Yeah. Like, the closer you get to that, the atmosphere of the city changes completely. Yeah, and, and it's got a really, like thick feeling and just really, really interesting it's, dynamic It's change. sort of uncomfortable. It is. It is a little bit uncomfortable. And so you know, we're having this kind of day and we're, we're, we're experiencing these kind of different emotions from the atmosphere and stuff and, and we're having little arguments with each other about stupid stuff. Just stupid stuff. Well, let's buy an ice cream. I don't want that ice cream. I want something else. Why do we always have to get what you want? You know, <laughs> type of stuff like that. It just, was just little stupid, stupid things. Like, we were, we were getting fed up with each other. But so it's we... just, it was just this building and building and building on top of this foundation that was laid at the start of our trip. Right. So, so then we go back home and we have a nice evening and then she, you know, we get up in the morning and she's like, okay, bye. And we're like, yeah, okay, all right. Okay, so we look at the map and we're like, it's... We're gonna walk to the zoo, and we'll just see how long it takes us to get there. And we walk, and it literally took us like twenty minutes. It was like not even, not even. It took us like ten minutes to get there. Maybe. So we get there, and I'm not exactly sure what precipitated it. it whatever it was, like mm -hmm. we started arguing. We were on a street corner, like right by the zoo. Like if you've ever been in Berlin and gotten off the <laughs> U-Bahn at the zoo. Like, right across the street from that, we were sitting on this street corner. There was, like, a kebab stand right Even there. Even if you haven't. I mean, this is... We're describing. Just, just picture <laughs> just it. Like, picture there's, this there's corner. There's a zoo over here, which is a pretty small zoo because it's in the middle of a city. Think of New York City Zoo. Yeah. Um, there's a zoo over here. We're right across the street on a street corner next to a kebab stand. And we start arguing. And it's a fairly busy street. Yeah. There's a lot it's, of it's a really foot busy traffic, street. a lot of car traffic and I don't remember the name of the street but it, it was a busy street <laughs> we started arguing and it started off kind of chill just like well you're supposed to know this stuff why don't you know yeah, this stuff like, well, you've kind of ruined everything this whole trip you've always screwed up blah 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 and it just escalated I mean it, 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 it literally just... escalated to the point where we're dragging stuff up out of our childhoods that we hadn't dealt with like emotionally or mentally like, and it was vacillating so... yeah between like <laughs> yelling and crying and, and since there was a bench we were standing up and sitting down alternatively as we were gaining power moves on the yeah, other moving one. kind of around our our but it was all contained to this <laughs> we were all yeah corner. we were all in this corner right by this bench and back and forth but we were completely oblivious to the rest of the world literally we and were like just i'm just talking and if you'll refer back to the episode on how to travel graciously, this is not one of those no. things. You want to keep <laughs> this. You want to keep this out of the public eye as much as possible. But this is not at making this point, we were we were done. We'd had it with each other. And, I mean, just like and, and there was, the was times like straw. she wanted to quit arguing. And I said, No, we're gonna keep talking about it till it's fixed. And there was times when you want I'm done. She's like, No, She's I'm like, not done talking about you. you. Finishing this. We're kind of finished. However, so we're arguing about literally everything we've ever held against each other in our entire lives. Everything. <laughs> everything. And you always have to get better grades than me. Why do you always have to keep up with me in school? Why do you but, have to do what I do? I mean it wasn't yeah. it wasn't just a fight where we were like trying to berate the other person. We or were hurting each other. We were fighting like I need to understand and I need to fix this because this yeah. is clearly a problem. Mm -hmm. and it was so, a fight to understand. Yeah. Which We've never done before. We, we hadn't always... really done before. We had always kind of nagged at each other. And I think mm -hmm. a lot of people fight that way, the way that we used to, mm -hmm. which is just like nagging at each other and trying to hurt each other and trying to gain trying, the upper hand, trying to win. Yeah. And uh, like neither of us in this argument was trying to win. We just wanted to fix stuff. We just, or we wanted to get everything out and we wanted the other person to explain to us 
why they did what they did. And we wanted we wanted resolution. Mm -hmm. And so we we're sitting there arguing and crying and yelling because I'm one of those people. I'm so emotional and it's frustrating. <laughs> it's, it's so frustrating. But when I get mad, I cry. And then, and then I get mad that I'm crying, crying and, and I end up crying more. more. Yeah. It's and a vicious cycle. Yeah. <laughs> so this is happening and we're crying and and, and we honestly we're, yelling, we're at this point we are we do not care that we're around. doing this in public. Yeah, we don't we don't know nor do we care who's around us or where we are. Or what's going on? So. Point, like we might as well have been in our bedroom at home. It was and, and no holds barred. At some point, both of us. We're actually listening to each other. I think what it was the most of thought. the fight. And it finally just came to a head, and we both just realized what we had done. We both apologized to each other for everything. We were listening to each other, and we were understanding. We had empathy, even if we didn't agree with mm -hmm. why the person did what they did at the time. And every stressful bit about that trip and everything in our personal relationship with each other we sorted out right on that street corner literally everything and i and like we it's... got done <laughs> we got done and we were crying and we hugged each other and i like <laughs> and, and then there, we both were we like we became aware that there had been people there the, the whole entire time, time watching us <laughs> listening to us and i this was not a short fight people two and a half hours we two. sat on the street corner yep. arguing because, I mean, it takes a long time to get through everything in your life, life. Yeah. even if you are young. And yeah. so, so two and a quarter hours, or two and a half hours, we yeah. sat there mm -hmm. arguing. And there were people that had stayed the entire time. I am sure that somewhere on Maybe, YouTube um, there is a you video of this it. fight. Anyway. I haven't seen it, if there is, but I've it a might times, be. But. So we get done with our fight, and people kind of give us a little applause, and it's... You know, they're probably like, wow, Americans. <laughs> yeah, I think they prob they were probably thinking, like, I've never seen anything more crazy in my life. So I, I have mm. never seen a fight like that. I've never watched anybody fight like that. I've never heard anybody I fight like that. I would love to see it, though. <laughs> I, I would almost like to see it and mm. just be like, because like, I don't remember everything about it, but I just remember it being this, like, intense. It was intense, but it was it was so focused in, like, it was, in, yeah. in the purpose of it. I mean, it was, like... We've got to fix this, and mm -hmm. and we're going to fix this, like, right now. I don't care. We were both of the mind that, like, I don't care how long it takes. We are going to be here until it's fixed. Mm -hmm. Wait, I don't even know how we reached that mentality, because we definitely didn't, We didn't. Know, we didn't talk about talk it. Talk about it. But it just happened that mm -hmm. way, and we were, we were so determined. And, like, it took, I mean, in that case, I think two and a half hours is probably pretty good, because people spend yeah, yeah, yeah. lifetimes <laughs> in therapy trying to get through these things. And you know what? Apparently, all you need is a pretty stressful couple of weeks and a street corner in Berlin, and mm -hmm. you don't need therapy. <laughs> well, not for that. Anyway. <laughs> not for that. So, we get done, and we're hugging it out, and we're kind we're of crying, and both of us are like, I am so hungry right yeah. now. <laughs> and we're like, happen to be right next to the K-pop stand. What a better way to mend your your relationship, or, or cement your cement, new cement relationship. Cement your new, our newfound love. And honestly, breaking like, bread together. Honestly, I've thought about it since, and we've talked about it since, but mm -hmm. I have never loved you more than after that no, fight. No, I know. I mean, like, and like I now, always loved you, but now I, I yeah, love you. Like, we, we always had a good relationship mm -hmm. growing up. We were always each other's best friends, but I have never loved my sister more than after that fight. Mm -hmm. And now, we don't hardly fight at all. Yeah. And like we it, really, it, was it helped huge our relationship so much. And instrumental to our understanding of each other yeah. and the way we each think. And it also helped us like take each other's perspective a little bit. And so now mm -hmm. in situations, I'm able to be like, I I should just need to be chilled out about this. I should think more like Nia. And she mm -hmm. sometimes does the you yeah. know I think need to think more like Christina. About I need this. to actually like make a decision or a plan or something because right. I I am a little more. Will of the Wisp of us too. I just fly by the seat of the pants. Yeah. yeah, whatever happens happens, and be ready for it, and what to do, and why bother planning because it doesn't go. But there are, there are times, especially as you grow up, and especially as you need to adult, that so you gotta planning has to happen. Like you just can't get through life without it. And being able to take Christina's perspective and the way she thinks and kind of apply it to myself has been super helpful. Yeah, for both of us. Mm -hmm. And so, like you know, I will say if you've got. If you've got those kinds of tension in your life, don't let it sit. But here's the very crucial key that we discovered. You cannot fight to win 
if you're going yeah. if you're going to solve this stuff you cannot fight to win you have to fight you don't even need to fight necessarily but maybe mm. you do you got to fight to understand each other mm -hmm. and you've got to fight to fix it and if you're going if you're working with that mm -hmm. mentality then you're going to come out with a really mm -hmm. great solution and a really great understanding because if of you're other. not if you're not fighting to win you're actually going to listen to what the other person's yeah. saying thank you for liking commenting and subscribing thank you for sharing this video with all your friends let's go on an adventure <laughs>